Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. Mean downtime is relatively simple and straightforward. So let's say there is a pump that starts operation. It runs for 1000 hours and experienced a failure. Maintenance team repairs the pump and put it back into service. The pump runs for 1500 hours this time and experiences a failure again. Maintenance team again repairs the pump. The pump runs for 1200 hours and fails again. We will know for how much time did the pump remain down in each failure. It makes up the unscheduled downtime. However, there will also be downtimes associated with scheduled maintenance activities. They will collectively make up the total scheduled downtime. The total downtime becomes sum of scheduled and unscheduled downtimes. Mean downtime is simply the sum is spread over total downtime events to give you an average. Since downtime is undesirable, maintenance department should check for reasons of high downtime and take actions to reduce it. This metric will show if the efforts in this direction are working or not. The last metric we will study in this lecture is the mean time between maintenances, which will be fairly simple to understand from the same example of the pump. It notes the total number of maintenance actions taken in a given time period, whether scheduled or unscheduled, and the operating time intervals between these maintenance actions. Mean time between maintenance is simply the average operating time between these maintenance actions. A high mean time between maintenances is desirable because a low value shows that you have to take the equipment out of operation frequently to do maintenance on it. With this, we conclude our discussion on mean time metrics of equipment reliability. See you in the next lecture.